So we're in the data room. We got the 416. She's all broken in. Everything's ready to run. This is the stage one BTR LS3 camshaft. And we got the GM factory LS3 intake with the 90 millimeter throttle body on it. Let's see what type of power this makes. Now I'm going to start off at 24 degrees, move up to 26. If we make a big jump, we'll try 28 degrees. If we don't, we'll leave it at 26. These engines with the smaller camshaft, usually right around 26 degrees is all she's going to get. But let's find out and I'll uh, see what type of power it makes. And then we'll move over to the Fast 102 next and the Holly High Ram. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay. little too much rpm there we could probably pull that back to 65 but still really good uh 596 horse which and about wow look at that 596 torque 596 horsepower really stout for that small of a cam what a great little street driver that camshaft will make with this intake but let's let's bump it up a few degrees and see what that does go to 26 and let's run it that way So it didn't make a big jump, five horsepower, probably not gonna really do a lot at 28. I would not expect a cam this small to start eating up a bunch of time. And plus we got the compression right out there at 11.5 to one with this engine. So made the same torque as last time, 596, but 601 horsepower, which is just amazing. It goes to show that how much power these LSs will make with a small camshaft. You just don't need a ton of camshaft. This thing would have just amazing driving manner. So we went through, we got the LS3 intake with the stage one cam, made about 600 horsepower. So now we got the fast 102 on there. We'll be expecting hopefully 15, maybe 20 horsepower jump in this intake. This intake flows a lot more air. So let's see if the engine wants it and let's get after it. So that was 610, but we were only at um, 24 degrees. So let's jump it up and uh, see if we can make some more power. Maybe it wants it. I'm going to shorten the RPM up though real quick to about 6,500 just to get that done. So 6,500 and then, and then let's go back here. Let's do 26 degrees and we're right back on it. Yeah, so 613, another three, wasn't real, didn't make a lot of response there. I bet you we could let this thing cool down for just two, three minutes and get a better pull. Maybe it's got a little heat soak to it. So I'm going to let it cool for a minute. We'll come back. We'll do a quick little money run and see what it, what it truly will do without a bunch of air. Plus, it's a little humid here today, so that's definitely not helping the number for sure. So let's try that. A few moments later. So we let the engine cool down a little bit, get the heat soak out of it. We've got the fast 102. Let's do a quick money pull. Let's see what type of power we get out of this thing. Only gained two horsepower. So that's, that's it. So we gained 15 horsepower with the fast intake. I think that's a, a solid number. So that intake was worth 15. We we're hoping it was worth 20. Let's move on to the Holly High Ram and see what that does.
So we're on with the 416 BTR Stage 1 cam. Now we got the Holly High Ram on there, which obviously we expect to lose a lot of torque compared to the fast intake. So let's see what happens with it. So I expect some higher horsepower for sure. Six twenty five, so that's what ten horsepower higher, but we still have, we're only at twenty four degrees, so we still have two more degrees to go. That smaller cam really doesn't look like it wants a lot more RPM. It looks pretty flat on the top, so I think I'm going to leave the RPM at sixty five hundred here that, that cam shaft might have flattened out, but let's go in and try twenty six degrees of timing. see what that does. Yeah, so that wanted it, so 631, so that was another 6. We might try another degree or two. You know what? Let's do it like we did last time with the fast intake. Let's shut this thing off. Let's get some fresh in there. Let's cool it down a little bit. I think I'll add maybe one degree of time in. And let's see what it does for a money pull, see what we can do, and then we can compare it to what it does with the Stage 2 camshaft. A few moments later. I'm going to add one degree of time and we'll let it cool down a little bit. So we'll just go up to 27 degrees and just see if maybe we can coax it to make just a little bit more than what it laid last time, which was, what, 631.9. So let's call it 632 horsepower. Let's go after it and see what she does. Yeah, not a lot, <laughs> it didn't do much, but that's max power. So we made it just a little bit more, not a ton. So now it'll be interesting to compare what the Holly High Ram did or all these intakes for that fact of the matter, compare it com from stage one to stage two to see what the differences are in those cams and to see this cam, this stage one was a 217 Duration at 50 thousandths on the intake and about a, a 230, I think it's a 235, they say 230X, I think it's about 235-ish on the exhaust, whereas the Stage 2 cam is a 221 on the intake, so four degrees bigger on the intake side, and um, it's like a 241, I think, on the exhaust, that one is, so about six degrees on the exhaust, so just not a huge difference. It'll be interesting to see how much does it, this engine want that extra duration at 50. I'm willing to bet it does because the heads flow really good, especially with these larger flowing intakes. So now we have all the dyno testing finished. We've tested all three intakes on the 416 here, and we've got some pretty good information here. First off, I'm super surprised how much power the Stage 1 cam, being as small as it was, made with the GM LS3 intake manifold. I mean, you know, making, you know, cracking 600 horsepower, um, I, I just didn't think it was going to do that. I thought it would be more down in the 580 range, but... uh it did, you know, and it obviously, you know, made, you know, a good chunk of torque um, as well. I mean, you can see that the fast intake manifold made obviously more horsepower by about 15, which they typically claim to be in that 1520 over stock. So I would say that is pretty truthful and it produced a little more torque as well, which was, was nice. So with that, I couldn't, again, I'm very surprised how much, how much power this, it'll be interesting to see how much does the stage two cam add do we do we get a, a big jump with that extra duration i'm assuming we'll get something out of it just a you know, matter of how much so you can see with these intakes being the longer runner intake manifold how much torque it produces and how much torque that will that we see down low some of these the holly high ram i expect the torque to drop off quite a bit but obviously the hot power to go up so we'll look at that next here yeah the next one that we want to look at i like to compare the fast to the holly high rim just to see peak horsepower so you can see the holly high rim made of power at a higher rpm 
It looks like it would produce power a few hundred RPM past the fast intake, which is typical because the runners are much shorter. And then you see a huge torque drop off. That was about 580 foot pounds of torque versus 600 foot pounds of torque. So you see a pretty good drop there and you see a lot of torque loss, even down low, look at 3,500 RPMs here about 510, 515 versus about 545. So there's a significant torque loss down low. I really think for a car that's on the street, something that you're going to drive on a day-to-day -day basis, you would, you know, go with the fast or the factory LS3 every day of the week. I think it's just going to, you know, produce a much better driving experience, a lot better low end torque, easier to burn the tire, all that stuff, especially in areas that are a little more congested traffic wise, the torque is really all you're going to focus on versus if you were in a wide open area, maybe like cornfields of Kansas or something, that Holly high ram, you could stretch that thing out and, and use that extra horsepower. Or if you're drag racing, if you had a car that hooked up and you were drag racing, you wouldn't be so worried about that loss of the torque. You, I think you could really make it up on the horsepower end, but uh, that would remain to be seen. Lastly, I just wanted to take, you know, a more dramatic look at how different it is from the GM LS3 intake all the way up to the Holly high rim with the stage one cam. I mean, you can see, you know, there is a solid 35 horsepower um, in that high rim without an issue there. So that's, you know, a solid, you know, jump there. And again, torque, just like the fast, the torque is way up there on the uh, long runner factory GM LS3 intake manifold. So that you now that's obviously a given. So now we're ready to swap out to the BTR stage two cam. Let's see what type of power that makes. We're going to test all three intakes and we possibly have a, a BTR Trinity intake coming in. So that will be cool. We can add a fourth intake uh, to our testing and you guys will see that video next week. So next Sunday, the second video with the stage two cam will come out. So stay tuned.